we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish the Constitution for the United States of America. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people to peacefully to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. This is a preamble to the Constitution and the First Amendment, which everyone should know. This is September the 29th, 2024. And I got a quick message. Uh, here recently, I've been watching some videos and I've been hearing some reports about some YouTubers who have been, um, who have been visited by so-called uh, government officials and who want to talk to them about the content uh, that they're posting on their YouTube channel. Uh, now, I haven't had this happen. I have not had anybody visit me as of yet, okay? But I have had some pushback from my community about me talking to people about the directed energy weapons, okay? Yes, I am telling people about the directed energy weapons because I believe that people have a right to know what's causing their sickness and their disease and all the pain and suffering in their body. I really believe that people should know this, okay? And most of the population do not know. So I'm getting pushed back from spreading the message. So if, if and when I do get a visit from these so-called government officials. I am preparing myself so I will know what to do. And I want to give you some tips today that I'm getting from other people uh, who have been visited by these government officials and giving tips on what to do if these Government officials show up at your door, okay? You need to know that you have rights. As a citizen of this country, you have rights. And you need to know these rights. If you don't know these rights, then that's your fault. That could be held against you if you don't know your rights. So this is a quick message about what to do if government officials show up at your door. Okay, first of all, for me, I don't answer my door. I never answer my door unless I know who's on the other side of that door, okay? Now, everybody doesn't do this, I know. So, if somebody shows up your, at your door that you do not know, okay? If it's somebody that you do not know, the first thing you want to do is not answer any questions, okay? First thing you want to do is make sure you have your phone in your hand or that you have a video recorder in your hand and you want to make sure that these people identify themselves. You, you tell them you want to see their identification. If they're government officials, you want to see their badge and their ID numbers. You make sure you get this information and make sure you get it on video or on, get a picture of it. Make sure that you do not answer any of their, their questions. You don't even have to identify yourself to anybody. You know, you don't ha unless you, till you find out who they are and what they're there for. Okay. This is your private property 
and they're intruding on your property. You don't have to answer any questions, and you certainly don't want to let them inside your home. Do not let these people inside your home. Make sure you go outside. Walk outside with them so that you are visible, that you can be seen. You know, because you don't know what they're planning. You don't know what's going to happen. So never allow anybody inside your home that you do not know. You first want to find out who they are and what they are there for. Okay. And like I said, make sure you have your phone or your video recorder in your hand. You want to record everything that is said and everything that is done. Do not answer any questions. And then the next thing you want to do, once you, if you see, if they show their identification and their badge numbers, or if it's like it's a sheriff, you want to make sure you get the sheriff's name and the badge number, okay? The next thing you want to do is you want to call. Call some of your neighbors. Make sure that you make friends with at least three of your neighbors who can come and give backup support, okay? You never want to speak to any government official when you're alone or by yourself, never. Make sure that you call somebody and you can inform these government officials. You can tell them, I'm gonna call my neighbor and I'm gonna ask them to come over here so they can be a witness to this, okay? Don't answer any questions that they have. Just tell them what you're going to do and then call at least three of your neighbors. If you can't get three, then get one, get two, get as many as you can to come over and you sit outside with these government officials until your witnesses get there. Now I'm told that a lot of times once you get on the phone and you start calling people as for backup, a lot of times these officials will leave. Okay, because if there's, if there's witnesses involved, a lot of times they'll leave, especially if they know they're there illegally. So this might be your first act of defense. This might be uh, the first thing you can do to, to, to end this, con this, whole, this whole conversation is to get, get some witnesses. Make sure you have witnesses. Do not answer any questions, okay? Make sure your witnesses are there. If you call three people, you, you wait until all three of those people get there. And make sure, ask these people to bring their phones with them so that they can record the conversation, okay? You never, ever, ever want to use any act of violence against anybody no matter what, you don't want to pull your gun on them. You don't want to threaten them. You don't want to curse at them. You never want to use any act of violence, okay? You want to make sure that everything is done fairly and as, as, and as nicely as possible, okay? Because you don't want to be guilty of anything that they can arrest you for, okay? You do have the right to protect yourself if they threaten you or if they start, if they, if they do anything to threaten you physically, you do have a right to protect yourself in that case. Once your witnesses get there, once your witnesses come, and once again, make sure that you do not let these people inside your home, make sure that you're out on your front porch or you're out in your front yard with your witnesses when you're speaking to the government authorities, okay? Once your witnesses get there, then, then you can ask them what they're there for and what they want. They may have already told you why they're there, but then you can let them speak, okay? And if they threaten your right to speech, then you need to know the First Amendment and you need to quote the First Amendment to them. Quote your rights. You got to quote it. You got to know it and you got to quote it. You got to let them know that you know your rights and you quote the First Amendment. If you don't know the First Amendment, then you need to learn it in case they show up at your door. You quote the First Amendment of rights. First Amendment rights. Uh, and make sure, once again, you've got your phone and your video camera on hand all the time and your video and everything that is said and everything that is done. In most cases that I've heard about, they said the government officials left, okay, just walked away when they found out 
that these people were quoting their, their First Amendment rights. They just walked away. And like I said, a lot of them said that they walked away whenever they started calling back up support. Okay. So, this is not in any way supposed to threaten them. It's just to let them know that you have this covered, that you are going to do everything that you, you can to protect yourself and your rights as a U.S. citizen. Okay. You quote the First Amendment to them, and then if they still, if they, if they start to threaten you in any way, you've got it on, you've got it on video. Okay. I don't think that they're going to physically, I could be wrong, but I don't think that anybody has physically been attacked yet by these government officials. But it's possible if they get angry. So that's another reason why you need to make sure that you have at least three of your close neighbors there or three of your family members there or somebody there that can witness what's happening, okay? Like I said, a lot of times when you've got somebody else there, okay, you're going to be more vulnerable when you're alone. But when you call back up support and you've got somebody else there to witness what's going on, a lot of times this will cause them to back down and leave. Okay. I've heard, let's see, I've heard, let's see, two, I've heard of two reports in my area and then I saw, when I started investigating it online, I saw some other, I found some other videos uh, about some YouTubers who say that they have been visited by so-called FBI agents, so-called, okay, who are most likely not really FBI agents. They're just sit there to intimidate you and bully you. So always make sure that they identify themselves and they show their identification and their badge numbers. Always, and make sure you get a picture of their face and you get a picture of their badge and their ID numbers. Always, folks, always. You've got to learn to protect yourself, okay? I wanted to make this video so people would know what to do and some steps that they can take to protect themselves if these government officials show up at your door. You need, you're, you're going to need to know what to do. You're going to, if you're a YouTube, uh, if you have a YouTube channel and you have, you, uh, you have content uh, that is uh, controversial or that, it, that may not be agreeable to some people, especially the government, there's a good possibility that in the future you could get a visit from some of these so-called government officials. And so... That's pretty much all that we can do at this point. But I think having the, uh, the backup support, to me, sounds like that might be the best, the best tip you can, uh, you can get because any time you have somebody else with you that is witnessing what is happening, and especially if they're videoing it, uh, and if this ends up in court, then you've got your proof, okay? You've got your proof. They know that you know your rights. You've already quoted your First Amendment rights. And they know that you know. Okay. And they know that this is not going to stand up in court for them. So, that's pretty much all I wanted to say today was know your rights. Know who's at your front door before you open it. Make sure you have your camera in hand at all times. Uh, and, and video everything that's said and everything that's done. And make sure you have backup support. Always, folks, always. And never let these people inside your home. It's a good practice to never let anybody inside your home unless you know who it is. If, it, if it's a family member, you know, yeah, you know, make sure it's a family member or somebody you know before you open your door. If you can't see them out your window, then you ask them to identify themselves before you open the door. And I know back, you know, in, in the old days, this was okay to do that. I mean, everybody opened their door to, to whoever. But it's not safe to do that nowadays, folks. This country is not safe anymore. It's just not. It's not safe to open your door to strangers. But if you do, make sure you know what to do, okay? 
Make sure you have your camera ready and make sure that all the information, everything that is spoken and everything that is done is on camera, on video. That's all, folks. Stay safe, stay heart-centered, and stay connected to God, to Jesus. I love you.